know, DJX started literally at the age of nine. Um, you know, going to the family reunions, you know how Latinos are, and, you know, hanging out with, you know, with, with the family and, and playing instruments, you know, just going by here, having a blast. It was, it was awesome, it was fun. You know, that's how I really started. It's something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life was when I actually did that, that first that first club gig, you know, because um, prior to that, I did a, thousands of house parties and backyard parties, and, you know. You know, you could say those little small gigs. Um, but yet when I got into the club scene and I remember that, that first, that first, you know, transition when I had everybody's hands up and just vibing and having a good time, you know, and at the end of the night, everybody was just, yo, you were, you were good, you know, I was like, I could do this forever. Well, there's thousands of DJs out there, you know, and, um, what makes you a good DJ is... Is, is, is that preparation, you know, that, that time that you work on your craft and, 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 you know, and every week you update your music and you practice, you know, and, and, and you stay up to date with what's going on out there. You, you listen to other, other, other crowds and, and, and feed yourself with knowledge, you know, that's when you become a good DJ. And then also you got to put that to the test when you're in the club or when you're at a party and you make everybody have, an, have a great time, you know, anybody could just press play. It's, just, it's, it's like I said, it's that energy you carry within your mix, within your transition, when you grab the mic, whatever you do to make the crowd go crazy. That's what makes you a good DJ. I remember 2009, um, me being booked at New Orleans. I remember getting on that plane and just thinking like, yo, I'm taking this to another city. <laughs> it's not just Miami. Um, all them gigs that I did, now I'm putting it to the test in a total new city. You know, to me, it was, a, it, it was the moment that I realized I'm taking this to another level. You know, now other people are gonna watch me. Back then, social media wasn't so big, so it, it was more about mixtapes and, and, and proving yourself at the, at the right time, at the right, at, at the right scene. And, and that's when I knew that was the year, 2009. This question raised me a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of feelings because I remember back in the days when I, I had clubs that were asking me for demos, you know, so they could hear how I DJ, and I didn't have nothing. So I will call friends of mine that offered me studios and none of them were available when I needed them. So I said, I need to do my own stuff, you know? So how I took it from DJ to production, uh, you know, I, to, just to be clear, I'm not that type of producer that makes beats. I'm the type of producer that executes ideas. I'm the one that puts a mix-up together, a radio show. Um, a video or whatnot. So I'm that type of producer. So I remember um, I was I was DJing at a club one time and, and my computer broke. Um, and you know, I remember the club buying me another computer and me fixing the other one. Next thing you know, I had two computers. So um, with one I started doing you know my DJing and the other one I started you know do, doing production. You know, I started learning software and from there on I took off on my own. I always did my own stuff. You know, I, I went to school. I read books. I learned out in the street, and I went to college as well, so, you know. A DJ moment I'll never forget is uh, me being a kid and, and me catching the bus at this park called Bayfront Park in Miami, where they did huge festivals. And I remember me being a fan of like this reggaeton artist called Don Chesina. Um, and I remember being in front of the stage, you know, screaming and singing songs. Years later, me being a DJ, I got a phone call from this uh, well-known promoter at the clubs. And he's like, yo, I got Dolce Cena in town. He needs a DJ. Next thing you know, I'm traveling to San Francisco, San Diego, LA. I'm traveling the world with this guy, being the DJ of the artists I, 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 I liked. So that was an unforgettable moment for me. And not only with him, but plenty of other you know, artists as well. Nicky Jam was one of them. What makes a DJ different than the other DJs is just his craft, you know, the way he is, the way he carries himself. There's a lot of DJs out there, much respect for them. But, you know, the one that's different than the others is the one that takes it to the next level. It's the one that's always on the hustle and trying to find not only gigs, not only clubs, you know, you know, radio, TV, uh, traveling, whatever. That's that different DJ, you know, that gets known out there, not just, okay, I'm DJing in the same club for 30 years. I mean... I give you respects for that as well, but, you know, that's the difference. There's a difference, you know. <laughs> An unforgettable moment in my production uh, career. I'll never forget, man. I, it was in Orlando. It was my first time on radio. 
I remember me calling my wife and I was so nervous. Uh, me doing a radio show by myself. Um, one of my DJ friends, he taught me how to work the board and whatnot. And I remember eight o'clock and the dad, I was going live. And I'm like, I'm looking at the clock and it was like 20 seconds left for me to turn on the mic. I was so nervous, man. But those 20 seconds, they went in my head and I was, I was just thinking about all the times, you know, from the, when I started being a kid to that specific moment. And that's when I realized um, that's an unforgettable moment for me. It was huge, me being on radio for the first time. If there was one thing that I could ask God to do for me, is to, to bring my father uh, in presence so that he could see everything I, I achieved throughout the years, you know, him with my mother uh, side by side, you know, and my whole family, of course. But yeah, I, I'll definitely want my father to be right in front of me, just watching everything, you know. If there was three keys that I could tell DJs that are in the upcoming game. Um, Key number one, you gotta be up to date with your music, you know, work on your music, work on your craft, you know. Be in front of that computer downloading, seeing what's out there, listening to the radio, listening to what's in the top 10 on billboards, you know, whatnot. Like, always be up ready, you know, and versatile. Key number two, like, practice. Like, practice, 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 you know. Practice makes perfection. Like, you gotta, you gotta practice. If you don't practice, you're not gonna master it. You gotta be able to practice and practice and practice until your freaking brains pop. Like, practice. And key number three, uh, I definitely say, you know, go out for the hustle, you know, always trying to learn as much as you can, you know, from the, from the bigger dudes, you know, from the, from the guys that have been in the game for a while, listen to advice, be humble, listen, if somebody tells you, yo, you, that mix came out wrong, or, you know, you got to do better, like, listen, do better, practice, you know, like, put the pride to the side, work on that, you know, craft. Don't be like, oh, I'm the best DJ because I'm, I'm so, so club. It doesn't matter, man. There's always somebody better than you out there. How you find DJX? Easy. DJXMiami.com. All my social media is DJXMiami. Or you can download my app for free, DJX. Okay, 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 okay.